And we have none other than Jan Nels from Germany, the owner of Dell Tech. And he is here to talk to people about Dell Tech products. Today, Jan Nels and I, we're going to talk about some historical reference going back to the very beginning of Dell Tech and then his involvement with Dell Tech and where we are today. It all started a long time ago. I was on an airplane to Frankfurt, Maine, and I was going to the Meerwasser Symposium in Dusseldorf. And it was the second ever Meerwasser Symposium. And the headline speaker was Dieter Stuber himself at Aquazoo Dusseldorf. He was the grandfather, really, of growing acroporas in a closed marine reef system. And I can remember the first evening, and we went to Peter Findyson's home, uh, who was an aquarist. And he had a thousand gallon reef aquarium on the wall, big aquarium, tall. And at that time, it was like really one of the most beautiful aquariums I ever saw. And I can remember sitting there drinking Dunkel beer. <laughs> and uh, the... In Dusseldorf. Yeah. In it's Dusseldorf, famous for Dunkel beer. <laughs> in, in, the, in that area, it was, uh, it was very interesting. And then we saw his mandarin gobies in the aquarium, getting later at night, going to the top to spawn. So it was like, gosh, I saw mandarin goby spawning just like that on my first night, and it was fascinating. From there, we went to the symposium, and the whole thing is in German, so <laughs> I didn't understand much. But the one thing that was very fascinating when Stuber spoke about it, there was a fungia coral, which is the plate coral, that sits in the bottom of his aquarium. It lived, and then it died, and he left it in the tank, and then a few months later, six months later, they were having babies from the coral, the dead skeleton on the bottom of the aquarium. And this was the first time ever in the world that somebody had had baby fungias in their aquarium live and they were popping off and he had babies and they were so proud. And after he gave his talk, everybody was <laughs> and a standing ovation about him with his fungia corals. I never forget that. There at the show was Wolfgang. Uh, from Dell Tech and he had some equipment and we looked at some pictures I think eventually I just started buying the next year from him and using high quality German filtration equipment and still to this day 25 years later I'm still doing it <laughs> thank you for that <laughs> yeah <laughs> and there at the Aquazoo Dusseldorf was a big huge half circle aquarium and that was the first ever calcium reactor in the world was built there by Dieter Brockman at the Aquazoo Dusseldorf. It was CO2 with an old Eheim canister and low pH melting coral skeletons to create bioavailable calcium in solution for salt water. Your history in Deltec, I think was maybe six years ago. Tell us what happened there. How did it come together that you bought Deltec? Oh, there were different things. Some things in my life has changed. Yeah. So I was working for big companies, for Deutsche Bank, and then for a big uh, textile company. And I want to work on my own, I want to be independent, and so there were some projects, and I like to see it. And another thing is that Deltic is very international, so we are exporting all those filter systems all over the world. And I like to travel, I like to talk to people from other countries, and that was the reason why Wolfgang and we, we are talking if I could overtake this company, because he went older and older, and so he wants to sell the company. That was 16, 2017. When I'm going and building a 5,000 gallon or a 6,000 gallon or a 2,000 gallon reef aquarium, I really need robust filtration. I need a high quality skimmers, fleece filters, calcium reactors, and they need to be working out of the box and operating perfectly. And every time we do that, having the equipment here too is very beneficial for us because it's in stock. And it makes it really easy for the Aquarius looking for high-grade equipment. The other real interesting development that happened, I believe it's been about five years, the CRTT was developed. And that calcium reactor has a whole automated interface, is extremely efficient. You've tweaked it over time to where it is now. I believe it's the top-selling calcium reactor, maybe even in all of Germany. 
beginning, you have to work a little bit with the machine because you have to adjust everything that it fits to your aquarium size. You have to find the right water flow that you reach the KH that you want to have, and then you have to degassing. But once you have adjusted everything, you have a calcium reactor which is working automatically. That's the other thing that's very fascinating with the unit. I can adjust the speed of the pump, I can adjust the speed of the CO2, and it can accommodate easily that absorption, the, the level of alkalinity that we really need, the level of calcium that we really need in solution on a constant basis. So it's really a quick dial to get it going. It does take time, as it always should, and then it always does, to balance out a marine reef aquarium for your calcium absorption over that period of time as the corals are starting to grow. Depending on the individual, it could be a month, six weeks, it could be three months, it could be six months or nine months, because as the corals are growing and the aquarium is biologically stabilizing, I would expect that, that your first year is gonna be the subswing uh, towards calcium carbonate uh, equilibrium, your growth of coralline algae and the growth of the corals. And then after that first year, and things really start to explode and the aquarium becomes really a block of calcium carbonate growing living ecosystem. We're bringing also the marine box, which is the new sump from Deltec. So that'll be another really interesting model. It's out of the box, ready to go. It fits the protein skimmer. It can fit a fleece filter. It can fit a calcium reactor all within the same sump vessel, correct? And then we have the Deltec pumps, the 10, the 12, and the 16. And then we have some new Deltec pumps out. What, yeah. what sizes are those? Yeah, we have two new pumps in our eFlow product family, two smaller pumps, the eFlow 4 and the eFlow 8. The figures stand also for the, the water flow in liters. Mm -hmm. So now we have two little brothers and so we have complete those eFlow family. We have eFlow 4, 8, 10, 12 and 16. And we should be getting those uh, next month in yeah. our inventory here yeah. in America. With the next order. And those are obviously uh, with American plumbing parts. Yeah and 110 out plug. Mm -hmm. They're high flow, but low electric demand. Yeah, it's DC pump. It's adjustable, you have a controller. And with those new pumps, we build a premium edition, a premium skimmer. It's called the Black Edition. And um, the Black Edition is very, very efficient because it's an internal skimmer, but the pump is outside and the pump is bringing the water downsize the skimmers. Mm -hmm. And so the contact time of the bubbles and to bring the dirt above is double. Much more efficient than the normal skimmers. And we have also the Deltec emergency overflow. The beautiful thing about Deltec is that they're super high quality, very well built, and um, they're going to last for many, many years. Germany really always has been on the forefront of marine reef keeping. Now, I think worldwide, the technology and the education of people learning how to hold and house a marine reef aquarium has advanced so significantly. And certainly with Deltec's help uh, worldwide, it's been a big advancement too. Okay, well, we really are happy that you're here in America. Yes, I'm and, also happy. <laughs> yeah. We're going to head up to Orlando and do the uh, Reef of Palooza show, and you get to meet a lot of fishy American fish geeks. <laughs> All right, awesome. Here we are at Reef of Palooza Orlando, and we've had a great show. We've had lots of consumers come by, lots of industry friends. We have our Kemi Pure product here in the booth. We have the jellyfish art, beautiful jellyfish cards. Look, them all pulsing together simultaneously. And if you come down this way, here we have the CRTT, the standard PF series of calcium reactors. We have these filters mixed in with some food and stuff on the table. We got the Deltex sump and the fleece filter. We got the 7i. A whole series of Deltec skimmers. Yeah. Crazy American aquarists. Crazy American, yeah. the crazy Germans. What could be better? Yeah. <laughs> Together! Thank you for choosing Deltec.